or something? Sure. Can we forecast uh, earthquakes? Uh, you know, it wasn't until about 20 years ago, and, the, and actually the eruption of Mount St. Helens, um, that kind of triggered uh, volcanologists and scientists with the, you know, to begin looking at what caused volcanic eruptions. And within the, the past 20 years or so, um, the scientists have gotten pretty good at forecasting when a volcanic eruption may occur. Um, unfortunately, with earthquakes, it's really, really hard to forecast. In California, they're up to about five or six seconds before the earthquake happens. But, you know, that doesn't, that, that doesn't sound like much, but it's, it's enough to stop, for example, the BART trains or get people off, you know, elevators and things like that. A Cascadia subduction zone earthquake, that 600 mile long fault is an interesting dilemma because if it, if it ruptures from south to north, that means if you have friends in Eureka, California, they've got time to get on the phone and call you and say, you better take that rock collection all above your bed down because you've got a couple of minutes before it's going to start shaking. And so scientists are actually looking very carefully about perhaps there is a way to give people a few minutes warning for one of these great earthquakes.